Our next speaker is a holistic health practitioner, author, and teacher. Please welcome Linda Diane Felt. Thanks, Brian. All right. So for more than 2,000 years, gardeners and small farmers have used Oya irrigation. From China to South America, this method saves as much as 70% of the water that's used to nourish plants. Now more than ever, we need to learn to use water wisely. With above ground watering, the water is in the wrong place. It evaporates into the air, the surface watering encourages weeds, and erosion is increased. The plants grow weaker and more shallow, and the access is intermittent. Oya is Spanish for pot. The narrow-necked vessel is buried in the garden and then filled with water. So plants can draw the water as needed. Weed seeds don't get activated. You can plant more densely. The yields are higher, and there's less work for the gardener. But buying Oyas will cost you more than $50 a piece. Flower pots can be made into really cheap Oyas. You can use old pots, and they're environmentally friendly. Even better, the system can be upgraded so that the water is automatically filling the, the pot. I've used this method for three summers in my raised beds and have only hand watered to start seeds. I've seen increased yields, a strong and vigorous plants throughout the season, and even on the very hottest days, there's no wilt. So in a four by four raised bed, I use five Oyas connected by irrigation tubing, and they fill in series. I collected over 100 used pots, and I used them to make my Oyas. Both small and medium sizes do quite well. So to make an Oya, you start by filling the bottom holes. You can use silicone caulk or a small tile or a cork. The water will be drawn through the sides of the Oya with osmotic action. And the plant roots will actually grow towards and around the Oya and will ask for the water that they need. The two pots become one with Gorilla Glue, silicone caulk, or other fastener. And without water in them, you can actually leave them over, over the winter, although it's safer to take them out each fall. So we've tried many methods, and it turns out that the easiest way to place the irrigation tubing was to drill holes in the sides of each capsule. One tube brings the water in, and the other tube goes on to fill the other Oyas in series. So buried in the ground is this contraption, and the water flows to the Oyas with gravity. The osmotic action is facilitated by the hydrostatic pressure and the demand of the plant roots. It's an on-demand system. The constant water source can be a rain barrel, a cistern that pumped to the surface. It can be a well or just plain old city water. And you can also combine sources, and you can certainly use more than one rain barrel at a time. We use a simple hose connection that feeds by gravity to a bucket that would be centrally located in the garden. A five-gallon bucket is fine. A used kitty litter pail also works. You have to have a lid to keep out the debris and also to discourage mosquitoes and algae growth. A constant head pressure is maintained by controlling the water level in the bucket. You'll also need a way to shut off the water to the bucket automatically. There's one valve that takes care of both of these needs. This is an evaporative cooling tank valve in a used kitty litter bucket. It operates a lot like your toilet tank, except that it works better in a low pressure system. On a summer day, you can stand in the garden and just hear the trickle of the water coming into the system, and it's like you have your own fountain right there. This hardware is easy to find online and lasts for years. The specifications are on a link on the last slide. The pressure to the Oyas is changed by raising or lowering the float position. For my 20 raised beds, there's two buckets, and we drilled holes in the bottom of the bucket, and each irrigation, irrigation tube runs from the bucket to the set of Oyas, which are in the raised bed, and they're about a foot in from each corner, and then there's also one in the center. You can also use Oyas in any size beds. So here you see a series of Oyas, all linked by the irrigation hose, and they're ready to be put into the ground. Once they're there, they will not be visible once they're buried. Now here's a part of my garden midsummer. It's vibrant, it is healthy, and it's overgrown and crowded, and that works just fine. I can also put liquid fertilizer or strained compost tea into the bucket, and that will feed through the Oyas as well. With this system, plants thrive. You save water and work. 
and the gardener can enjoy a plentiful harvest and the time away from the garden without having to worry about the water and the weeds. The water is used wisely. For more information and technical details, you can Google Oya Irrigation Update on YouTube, and you'll see more about my garden and how we learned to develop this method, which combines ancient wisdom with modern convenience. Thanks. Thanks, Linda Dan.